Hey everybody, what's going on? Josh here with Scrapyard Films. Today I'm going to give you another Vegas 16 tutorial, and this tutorial is how to isolate one specific color or a slight color range and play it back with some of the colors grayscale except for the range or single color that you chose. I'm going to give you an example right here. So you see I went ahead and chose my wall, which is kind of a whitish yellowish tint to it. So anything remotely resembling that color, which you can see there's a little bit of things in the background that kind of resemble that color, they'll be lit up a little bit. But anything that varies away from that color will be grayscaled. I went ahead and copied the same clip. This time it doesn't have effects. The video effects that you are going to be using is Color Corrector Secondary. So you just click that one and then go to default and drag that onto your clip. It brings open the details. So the first thing you're going to do is click on the color that you want to keep. So I'm going to go ahead and still keep my yellowish white kind of color. When you click it, it doesn't look like anything's going to happen. So what you want to do first is turn your saturation all the way down. And you'll see it's starting to go away. Now we want to do invert mask. That grayscales it and basically shows you the color that you selected. But to widen that range up a little bit, you want to drop down both the limits right here. For this specific color range, I'm going to be dragging my low all the way down and keeping my high all the way up. And I'm going to leave smooth right there for a bit. Then I'm going to go down to limit saturation and do the same thing. Drag that low and then back high all the way. But when I do this, it's going to show almost a little too much yellow. It's going to be like in my hair and on my cheek. You know, like right there. You see? So we want to get rid of that. And to do that, you're going to mess with the saturations high and smooth. So first, let's bring this to about half or so and then we're going to drop the high a little bit and see what happens and you can kind of see it's getting off of my face but it's also getting a little bit lighter so that's actually more or less the real color of my wall it's not necessarily yellow but that's just what the light's looking like so half looks pretty good to me right here so let's look at that one more time so that actually doesn't look too bad I have isolated my walls color and that's the only thing that's coming up. There is a little bit of reflection, like right around my chair, that you see a little bit of hint of yellow, maybe a little on my shirt. But other than that, for the most part, I've isolated the specific color that I wanted. And that's pretty much it. Now this system isn't perfect, but it is awesome. But you do have to mess with the lows, highs, and smooths of the luminance and saturation to kind of get what you want. But it is going to take a lot of practice to get the perfect thing. But if this video helped you out at all, don't hesitate to do the trifecta and like, subscribe, and share, because that will really help me out. And I'll see you guys in the next video.